Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you guys on this one how to use our storyboard templates and how to draw and create them um, so that you can use them to pre-plan all your videos ahead of time. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna use our storyboard template which should be saved in your Google Drive. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go down and click make a copy and we're gonna change the title of it to the name of whatever project we're working on. In this case, our uh, shots and angles uh, storyboard. Okay, I'm gonna put it on there and then that'll open up our, our new document, okay? Now, once this opens up, it's pretty simple on how to go through and do these. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a look at some of them and what you want to include. Now, at the bottom of each of our storyboard templates, which seems to be moving quite slowly right now, you're gonna see the different things that we wanna include in our storyboard. Now, first and foremost, what we wanna include in our storyboard is a drawing. We wanna draw what our shot is going to look like. And it's important that you draw it exactly the way you want it to look. So if you're going to show, or if you want your shot to be a close up, then you need to draw a close up. I don't wanna see anything from the neck down in the image, okay? Secondly, you always wanna use arrows to show your movements in what you're creating. Um, if the arrows are inside of the boxes, um, then that typically is going to mean that a subject is going to be moving in some way, shape, or form. If your arrows are outside of your boxes, then that typically means a camera movement of some kind, whether that's panning, uh, tilting, tracking, uh, zooming, whatever, okay? And you wanna draw those and make sure that they're on your picture. Now, it doesn't matter how exactly you use them, as long as you can explain through the image and the lines what it is you want that shot to look like. And that brings us to our most important part of our, of our uh, storyboard, and that's the lines that accompany each picture. Now, in each picture, um, we're gonna draw it exactly the way we want it to look. And since drawings can be interpretive, we wanna use the lines to make sure that everybody understands what it is we're doing. Um, the first thing that we always do, and these seven questions are things that I, I usually use for our kids. Now, these are our basically required questions that you have to be able to answer, okay? Paragraph number refers to when we would use something like a script if we were tying it to a script. In our case, we're gonna use this as our shot number or, or the frames that we're gonna be using. The subject's name is literally the name of the person or thing that's going to be your main subject. Um, the third question is the name of the shot. So what camera shot are you going to be using or combination of shots are you gonna be using in that particular um, box? Uh, shot angle, and this refers to not just the camera's angle, but also the angle of the subject. Um, next is camera movement. So you're gonna list out what camera movements are gonna happen and when. Subject movements, if the subject is going to be moving and what they're gonna be doing. And if there's any dialogue, that kind of rounds it out. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this on a Google document um, to make things easy. So this is gonna be number eight of our um, shots and angles project. So this is the eighth frame and this is uh, my subject of the shot is going to be uh, my, my daughter Kennedy. And the third question was the shot type. So what type of shot am I going to include in this? Uh, or is Kennedy going to be in? And in this case, this is going to be, we'll say a medium close up. Okay. The next is uh, the angle. So this is going to be a horizon angle for the actual camera. And for Kennedy itself as the subject, she's going to be in what we call a three quarter profile angle. Okay. Um, as far as camera movements go, there are no camera movements in this particular shot. So we're just going to list it as that. No camera movements. As far as the subject goes, Kennedy is going to be playing catch. So subject playing catch with 
someone, in this case, we'll say off the, off the screen. And as far as dialogue goes, there is no dialogue in this one. She's not talking or anything like that. So I'm just gonna list it as that. Now I'm able, because I've already got the picture in my head as to what I want this to look like, okay? So now it comes down to the actual drawing. So I'm gonna click in the box where I want the drawing to go and then I'm gonna click insert and go down to drawing and click new. And what it'll do is it'll give you a drawing frame like this. And using the different shapes and drawing tools, you can draw out exactly the way we want it to look. Now I'm gonna use an oval for her head. And she's going to be looking to the right. So I wanna put her on that left vertical third. And then I'm gonna come down to the scribble line and it's gonna allow me to literally just draw onto it. So because she's facing the right, that's why she's gonna be on that left vertical third. Okay. I'm going to draw it where she's gonna be We'll say holding the football and aiming at what she aims at. Okay. And it doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be so that we can see what it is or get a rough idea as to what is going to be happening. Now you'll notice that it's cut off at the chest. That's going to make it a medium close up. She's looking to the right. That's why she's on the left vertical third. Now I've got it the way I want it. Let's say I also want text in this. So I'm going to include a box here and then I'm going to put text inside of it. And I'm going to label it with, in this case, the shot title, but it could be anything. Um, it could be her name uh, or role is what she's doing. And then I'm just going to hit save and close. And as you can see, it just fills into that box. Okay. I hope this helps and it should um, help everybody be able to do what they need to do uh, as far as using uh, Google Slides for our uh, storyboarding aspect. Thanks for watching.